The Night of Decree, written by Shazia Nasli. Suratul al Qadr, The Night of Decree. Verily, we have sent it, this Quran down in the night of al Qadr. And what will make you know what the night of al Qadr is? The night of al Qadr is better than a thousand months. Therein descend the angels and the Ruh by Allah's permission with all decrees. There is peace until the appearance of dawn. Laylatul Qadr, the night of Al Decree, falls in the month of Ramadan. The exact date of this blessed night is not known, but as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam advised us, we should search for it in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Surah Al-Qadr refers to a man who was from amongst the children of Israel. For a thousand months, he would spend his whole night worshiping Allah and his days fighting the enemies of Islam. Allah says in the first three verses of this surah, Verily we have sent, sent it. This Quran down in the night al, al Qadr. And what will make you know what the night of Al Qadr is? The night of Al Qadr is better than a thousand months. Therefore, if we worship Allah on this night, we will get the reward of worshiping Him for a thousand months. However, that does not mean we have to stay up all night worshiping. We might want to sleep and then wake up during the last part of the night, as it is then that Allah descends to the lowest heaven and accepts our prayers. There are many ways in which we can worship Allah. We can pray nawafil prayers, which are voluntary prayers. We can read the Quran, we can also do dhikr. There are many duas or prayers that we can read on this blessed night. On this night, the angels come down to the heavens and they bring with them immense amount of mercy for us. As it is explained in the surah verses 4 and 5. There is only good on this night and no evil. And the angels spend this night praying for the good believers and giving them the greetings of peace until dawn. The exact time of this night is not known. Therefore, as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam advised us, we should search for it in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Allah did reveal to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, the exact time of this night. But as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came out to inform the people, two men were arguing, which caused the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to forget. It is at this point that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told the people to search for the night of Al-Qadr in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So we know then that this blessed night falls in the last 10 nights. But how do we know exactly which one it is? Well, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told us that it is one of the odd nights of Ramadan. That is the 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th, or the 29th. Muslim scholars say Allah made this night unknown so people would worship Allah more and thus get more rewards. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told his beloved wife Aisha, radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her, to recite the following dua on these great nights. O oh Allah, you are all forgiving, you love forgiveness, 
so forgive me. On this night, the angels descend with the descent of blessing and mercy, just as they descend when the Quran is recited. On this blessed night, the Ruh, which means Angel Jibril, alayhi salam, also descends with the angels. Surat al-Qadr describes a very important night, a blessed night and beneficial night. We should try our very best to take advantage of this night and worship Allah in any way we can and as much as we can. Amen.